Premiere. So in this Premiere Pro quick tip, I want to show you how you can go about changing the start time of your timeline. So right here we have a piece of footage and we're gonna drag it over to the new item icon right here and we're gonna create a timeline. So as you can see right here, the beginning of the timeline is zero, 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 zero. Now uh, to change this to any other number, the, uh, the way that you do that is you go to this little hamburger icon right here and you go down to start time. And then here is where you can uh, change the uh, start time of your timeline. So in this particular instance, let's, uh, well, let's just put in a bunch of random numbers. So 20, uh, 12, 25, 01. And so now we have changed the start time code of this particular timeline. So that's how you go about changing the start time of the timeline. Now, the question becomes, why would you ever do this? So. If you're making YouTube videos or tutorial videos very much like this one right here, or you're doing something personal or maybe a wedding video, you're not necessarily going to ever have to change the start time of your timeline. The only time that this really uh, is a necessity is if you're working in film and television and you need to deliver your master to uh, Disney or um, CBS or Showtime. In this particular example, this is a project that I did for Showtime many years ago. The deliverables that are required are one minute of bars and tone, which is what this is, and then 10 seconds of black, and then 10 seconds of a slate, and then 10 seconds of black and all of this before you hit the start of your show. So the start of the show needs to happen at the one hour zero, 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 zero. So it needs to happen at the one hour mark. So that's where the first frame needs to be. That's where it needs to start. So this is where you would need to change the, uh, the start of the timeline to reflect so that when the one hour mark hits, that's the start of your show. So you would go to the start time. And since you, you have a minute and 30 seconds here, so we'll subtract a minute and 30 seconds from an hour. And that would be uh, 00583000. So that would be the start of our timeline. So now when we go to when it hits the one hour mark, that's the beginning of the, the show or the program. So that's it for this particular quick tip. If you got value out of this, I would appreciate it if you give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.